Listen to me. You're so close to landing a remote job. You're working hard, you're putting in the effort. You're actively watching videos like this, trying to learn which remote jobs are the best and how to land them. And that's why in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you seven remote jobs with no experience that I've been seeing my followers and students landing left and right. And I'm doing this so that you can land a job in a month like Kevin, who went from an unemployed construction worker to a full-time remote job making $65,000 a year. But I can only help you if you pay attention and watch the video until the end. So let's get right into it right after you cheers the like button. And number one on the list is going to be a cash application specialist. So this is a very interesting role. And this is a position where you have to understand that smooth cash flow is key to a financially secure kingdom. And you make sure that a company receives all of its payments in full and on time by meticulously recording and sorting incoming funds. And cash flow is literally the lifeblood of your business. And if you run out of it, you can't pay your employees and therefore you lose all of them and likely you lose your business in the process as well. I declare bankruptcy! So there's not that many things in business that will kill you, but running out of cash is one of them. However, storing too much cash and keeping too much cash in reserves is going to limit the growth of your business as well. And so it's important to have these types of positions that help to allocate cash efficiently and safely. And in this position, you can make about 41 to $56,000 a year. Now this is an entry level position, doesn't require previous experience, typically doesn't require a college degree either. So if you're looking to break through in the financial industry, get your foot in the door, get some experience without having to have any experience experience or a college degree, this one might be perfect for you. Now, some other career paths you could go into down the line that pay even better after you get some initial experience with this one would be a revenue cycle analyst. They make about 67 to $111,000 a year. A financial analyst, they make about 95 to $154,000 a year. A finance manager, they make 134 to $223,000 a year and many more. So as you can see, there is a really healthy career path and career progression for you down the line as well. So overall, I do really like this one, although I think I think other ones on the list are going to be even better, but for the right type of person, this one's great. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an entertainment and media marketing specialist. And this is somebody who oversees the day-to-day -day operations of entertainment and media products, all the way from screening content to promoting various different offerings. So if you like content or you're an entertainment junkie with a knack for marketing, this role could be your ticket to a star-studded career. Now this one is also known as a media content coordinator in some situations or a content media coordinator. And they make about 43 to $61,000 a year. And there are other positions that are either similar to this one or ones that you could go into down the line with a similar skill set. One would be a digital marketing analyst. They make about 58 to $98,000 a year. A content strategist, they make about 68 to $109,000 a year. And a senior marketing specialist, they make about 93 to $151,000 a year. And of course, making content can be a lucrative career or you could turn it into a full-time business. And that's exactly what I teach people how to do in my free live training, which I'm gonna be doing Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And just as an example of the kind of results results that we're getting our students, the student was able to almost immediately add 35K or so in profit. And this was right after they signed on with us. So check the link in the description down below for the live training, and it'll be awesome to see you there. I'll be able to answer any questions you have, and I'll get to meet you. But overall, I really like this one. Anything related to content creation is booming right now. I'd go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an account coordinator. And this is basically the linchpin that keeps client relationships operating smoothly and sales teams running at peak efficiency. This is basically where you assist sales teams by managing client accounts, handling administrative tasks to ensure smooth operations, and client satisfaction. And just like a client satisfaction architect, account coordinators design a positive experience for the client and the sales team by meticulously handling every detail. And account coordinators make about forty-seven dollars to $66,000 a year. And there are other positions down the line that you can land that would be even better once you've gotten your foot in the door and gotten some experience. For instance, account managers make about eighty-six dollars to $151,000 a year. And it would be a logical progression for you to move into a role like that. Down the line, account executives make $121,000 to $218,000 a year, and then directors of client success make $125,000 to $215,000 a year. So you can make really, really good money in these roles. And a lot of the times, these roles are going to be in the technology industry, and in many cases, it'll be specifically in software. And software and software sales and anything related to software is incredibly lucrative. And I've actually helped tons of people get jobs in software sales. For instance, Wakago was able to get a job in a month and a half after watching one of my videos. It took me a month and a day. I signed up July 28 of 2022 and was officially done with everything August 29th of 2022. 
the time you started the course to the time you got your first job offer was approximately uh, a month and a half or so? Yes. Yep. Okay. And it paid $65,000 a year right off the bat. Yeah. Course careers advertise a 60K, like your average minimum. And I got a little more than that as my total compensation. And I can make anywhere within my first year, depending on how hard I work, I can make up to six figures. Yes. But wow. definitely I was offered a little over that 60K that Course Careers advertised. And if you want to take the same free training that she took that helped her to land this job, definitely go ahead and check that out down in the description and the pinned comment below. But overall, really like this one. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a technology support specialist. And in this position, you'll basically be providing technical support to customers. But you may also be troubleshooting issues for your fellow employees as well. Have you tried turning it off and on again? And all of this is done to ensure that computer systems and technology in general runs smoothly. So just like a helpful mechanic that keeps engines humming, you'll keep technology systems in top shape for your company and its customers. So if you're the type of person who's tech savvy, this could be a phenomenal career for you. And technology support specialists make about 51 to $77,000 a year. Now there's many related jobs that are very similar to this one that are also kind of at the entry level that you can easily get into, such as IT help desk. But there's also jobs you can get into down the line once you've got a little bit of experience. Experience. And these jobs pay better and they open more doors. For instance, senior support specialists make about fifty-six to eighty-nine thousand dollars a year. Systems administrators make about sixty-eight to one hundred and eight thousand dollars a year, and support managers make sixty-seven to one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars a year. So this one is excellent. I'm going to give it a nine out of ten opportunity score. By the way, comment down below any jobs you like, the ones you didn't like, or ones you thought I should have included. There's a good chance I'll see it in the future, and I'll either make a dedicated video or I'll add it into a different video and go into more detail. Next is going to be an information input clerk. And this is somebody who basically transforms information from a paper format into a computer file or maybe even a database system. And this ensures accuracy and accessibility of information and data. And you can almost think of this position as a digital librarian, cataloging, organizing, and archiving vast amounts of information. And a really good quote is that information is the oil of the 21st century and analytics is the combustion engine. And you can't really do anything with information or analytics if you don't have a bunch of information readily available and safely stored. Now in this position, you'd make about 33 to $47,000 a year. So it's not one of the higher paying positions on the list, but it is relatively easy to land and there are a lot of jobs available. And the good thing about this one is it can be a good opportunity for you to get into data related positions. For instance, you could become a database administrator down the line. They make 75 to $128,000 a year, or you could become a data quality manager. They make 104 to $175,000 a year, or you could become a business intelligence analyst. They make a hundred thirteen to hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year so even though this is probably not the most desirable job right off the bat it does get your foot in the door in an industry that can have some incredible jobs so you probably don't want to stay in this one very long maybe six months to a year and then you can land a better job down the line but overall i'm going to give it an opportunity score of eight out of ten next is going to be a collections specialist and this is sort of a debt collection position mixed with a customer service position so basically you're going to be talking to customers over the phone and specifically you're going to be trying to resolve overdue accounts. And although this might sound like a terrible position, it's not always that bad depending on the company you work for. A lot of the time it's more about working with the person and trying to figure out how you can come to an agreement. And in this position you make about 41 to $59,000 a year. Plus down the line there are other positions you can go into that are much more lucrative. For instance, senior collection specialists make 48 to $76,000 a year and collection team leads make 50 to $77,000 a year. So this one can be relatively good, uh, maybe not the most glamorous job in the world, but I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a really good healthcare related career that's super easy to get into, and that is an intake coordinator. And this is where you're basically managing appointments, paperwork, and patient inquiries in a healthcare setting. And you're really helping patients navigate administrative healthcare processes with care and empathy. And this is a really good way for you to get your foot in the door in the healthcare industry, where there's tons of options, lots of jobs, they're stable, they pay relatively well, and there's even better jobs down the line. So this one pays about 41 to $56,000 a year. Senior intake coordinators make about 49 to $69,000 a year and healthcare administrators make about 83 to $152,000 a year. So there's a lot of other jobs you can move into down the line. But overall, this is another one of those relatively good healthcare related jobs that are easy to get into. Typically they do require training, but the company provides the training for you. Then overall, they're just very solid options. I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you're interested in remote jobs that are almost always hiring, I did make a video called the seven remote jobs that are always hiring. They went viral, got hundreds of thousands of views, and you can check that out by clicking right here.